Hey guys, it's Mike here for a Monday night mail day. And I got four packages, one, two, three, four, to open tonight. And I'm pretty excited. I think I got some pretty cool stuff in here. So I was gonna try to do it KG sports card style, but I couldn't get my camera to work. So here we go, package number one. I'm gonna go through it and see what we got. Hope everybody had a good weekend this weekend. Been watching a lot of cool videos this weekend of people um, on vacation and just having a good time. So really cool. Uh, so the first card I got was a card that is inspired by Ray from Philly. Uh, I'm doing also the Hall of Famer rookie card set on the set registry, mainly by accident because of the top 300 cards. There's a lot of cards that are in that set also. And so I started picking these up. It's kind of funny, this card's on there, the 88 score, Tom Glavin. I got a mint nine. So why this 88, why the score card? Why not the tops or the Donruss of Tom Glavin? I don't know. I don't know how they chose which one. I would think the tops would be kind of the, the main one they would use for that, but, and that's true of a lot of them. Like, uh, I got Barry Larkin coming. His is a Fleer card from 87, some other stuff. So there you go. This is the card that's on the set registry. So this is the card I found and bought a PSA nine, Tom Glavin. All right, one down, three to go. This one's another one, kind of thin. Let's see. Let's see. It's funny to watch how everybody uses different methods for opening their bubble mailers. Some guy use, I use a knife. Some guys just rip them open. Some guys use scissors. It's uh, very interesting to see how everybody uses a different technique. Hey, look. It's another Pudge autograph. This is another from Topps Finest uh, this year, I think, 2017 Finest. And let me get it out of the deal here. This is, I think, my third or fourth one of these. I don't think I have a base one like this yet. I think I have a blue and a, something else, but it's a pudge. That's my 80th pudge autograph right there. I now have 80. You know, because everybody needs 80 pudge autographs. All right, here's one from Surprise, Arizona, home of the Rangers for spring training. See when they're easy like that, I just rip them open. All right, let's, oop, it's a slab. I can feel it, it's a slab. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. So this is a replacement, I say replacement, it's an upgrade of a card for my top 300 set and it's the 1962 Tops Gehrig and Ruth from the Babe Ruth subset in 62 Tops. It's Excellent Six which is great, I had a four before, so I always try to go at least two grades up or I don't even bother. And it's in the new, you know, Lighthouse holder. It's pretty got a pretty distinct print line along the bottom, if you can see that. But other than that, a clean card, nice to have a six. Six is better than a four. So it's my second slab today. And then I got a big one from Probstein or Probstein or whatever he calls himself. I don't buy a whole lot from him, but if I see him and it's cheap, then I'll do it. In fact, there are some cards that I only bought on here because combined shipping and some other things. I think this is a four card package, at least it's supposed to be. He always does a great job packing his stuff. opening. There are four cards. Of course, the typical advertisement from him. Okay, interesting. All right, so the first card I got literally was because it was, I saw some other things that were ending soon, and it was really cheap. So I got this, I think this is 2016 Finest Raleigh Fingers. The light's not that good over here, is it? Probably fingers. Numbered to 150 on card. Kind of neat card, it was like 11 bucks. 
so I couldn't go wrong there. Then I got two more Pudge autographs. This one's from tier one, numbered to 40, and this one's from tier one, numbered to 99. But they're two different, like, subsets. One of them's, you know, they're just, I don't know. I can't tell what all of them are. So there's 81 and 82 Pudge autographs. And the last card I'm really excited about because I love this set from 99 Upper Deck Legends, I think. Epic Signatures cards. Tons of Hall of Famers. Great picture, great design. Simple, clean autographs typically on card. Just so gorgeously designed set. I miss Upper Deck for that reason. But this set is fantastic. Willie McCovey. <clears throat> Probably paid more than a normal McCovey, but I just, I loved it, so I wanted to buy it. That's how it works with cards. We usually find cards we want, and so we buy them. So that's it. Uh, four package mail day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. So five of them autographs and two slabs. So not a bad day at the mail day today. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Keep collecting.